guys, I'm Spice, and welcome to my show, Talk Story with Spice. I'll be your host for my show and podcast. I am a traditional healer, psychic, and medicine man, and I look forward to sharing with you lots of knowledge in the field of health, healing, and natural medicines. I've even got special guests with those. It's going to make it a lot of fun and make it easy and fun to learn. Um, I don't want to go over anyone's head and give you super long words to try and understand what this is all about. I want to be very simple. And my objective with this show is not to um, teach you anything. It's to help all of you remember and surface what you already know inside and make it all make sense. So I'm super excited for that. This is my introductory show. So I'll be letting you know about myself and my passions and what this show is about. And from this point forward, it's all about you after today. So I look forward to sharing so much knowledge with you based on working with thousands of people over the years and over 11,000 plants. So I'm super excited to share. My special guest list that I have in the field as well is six months to a year deep, which also includes surfing, spearfishing, snowboarding, and bow hunting. Why? Because it's all part of my life and other something I just really enjoy, all of them. It's going to be a great show. So. Please let everyone know. Be sure and tune in and, and like, share, and subscribe. Super stoked. The show's going to be great. What you'll be learning in the show in the beginning is I'll break you into a deeper understanding, yet simplistic and simple to understand, is herbal medicine and the human body and how it works, how you work, how amazing and magical you are. Once I get you to a certain point and we break into... Uh, what I feel has, is necessary to kind of inform you on and break you into a lot of amazing knowledge. We will go out and to the field and I'll show three plants per show. I'm also going to open up to questions um, for people with health related problems. So guys, we're all family here and they're just problems. I've worked with everything it seems like. Uh, colds, flus, Viruses, coughs, basically AIDS to warts, staph, cancer, uh, Hodgkin's leukemia, lots of spiritual problems, eye problems, prostate problems, female problems from to even not being able to get pregnant. I've worked with arthritic conditions, STDs. I've worked with headaches, circulation problems, heart problems, psoriasis, eczema other types of crazy rashes. There's lots of health problems that I don't even think the medical field has even named yet. Diabetes, Lyme's disease, like I said, cancer, lots of different cancers, so many different types, prostate, uh, brain cancer, breast cancer, stomach cancer, lung cancer, liver cancer. Speaking of which, I've worked with hepatitis A, B, and C, just tons and tons of all different types of cancers to leukemia to Hodgkin's, to all, all different uh, lymphatics, um, tons and tons of different cancers that I've worked with. The biggest problem that most people deal with is, is anxiety. I classify it under a problem that I would call eggshellitis, meaning that most people who has all these health problems 
are walking around in eggshells in their own skin. And that's what's causing the problem. So creating herbal programs and, and products that ground people out to just let go of all this anxiety pinned up so that they can relax on their own body so that their body can function properly as well as depression. Depression shows the power of the mind. Depression is gnarly and depression comes from the stomach. It comes from energy and it just kind of creeps up on someone. And so it's more spiritual work. However, there's a lot of herbal programs that um, I know how to put together different types of plants and get them on a regime to help them basically raise their vibration to lift uh, the depression. And so yes, depression is definitely something I've helped with and worked with over, over the years. Shingles, tons of different kidney problems, bladder problems, the urethra, female problems, relationship problems. So when it comes to relationships, this day and age, there's so many problems because when two people are together, uh, my theory is how can you tolerate somebody else you can't tolerate yourself? And it's kind of like a grocery bag. What have you put into your bag throughout life? And a lot of times it's energy and negativity will, will kind of accumulate over time. And there's so much stimulus that's negative that in time, how can you tolerate someone else when you can't even tolerate yourself? And so the relationship problems to me are happening so abundantly today because of so much excess stimulus. But... Um, the amount of negative energy that we're putting in ourselves, and you got to look at it like magnets. Okay, when you're a kid and you put magnets together and they either attract and they stick or they repel each other and they push, it's the same thing. So, when a per two people have lots of negative energies uh, pinned up inside, they're going to just repel from one another when there's obviously a lot of love for each other, but how can they tolerate each other if they really, when it boils down to it, can't tolerate themselves? So I've helped a lot of people with relationships um, kind of taking out the negativity so that the, the love that has always been there comes back full force. So getting people um, cleansed, raising their vibration, I've seen it time and time again. It makes that relationship wonderful again, um, which is what we want. I've worked with Alzheimer's and other uh, you know, memory slash brain disorders. Children, I've helped tons and tons of children. Uh, with their problems. You have to realize that working with children, the it's a whole nother ball game because their, their system is so much more delicate than ours. You have to approach it a totally different way. So especially six months and younger, even up to two years. So you can have certain plants for us as an adult that that plant um, is just basic nutrition for us. But you give that child the same amount and it's going to work like a laxative and they're going to fill up their diaper. So knowing how to work with children um, is key in the proper way, in the safe way. Um, you know, there's one plant, a flower for us as an adult, it's phenomenal for energy, for the heart, for the stomach and digestion, for circulation, uh, for memory, and it grows here all over. But for children, it's a different story. Um, you have to put that flower in a glass of water and just leave it and, and keep an eye on it. And in time, you'll see a gel substance. And then you give them just spoonfuls or a spoonful. And it works like a lubricant on their system and a laxative. And it's safe for them and brings comfort. And it actually coats their inside. And if they need a, a, a safe little laxative to get... Um, their system kick-started again because young children do deal with uh, constipation and, and a bunch of different things like that. So lots of different things to boost their immune system. There's tons of different things to work with um, children to um, bring them back to life. So just, it's a whole nother ball game working with children. I've helped so many children and uh, we all love children. So you don't want any child to suffer and, and um, not be comfortable um, in suffering. So yeah, um, definitely, definitely um, other things that I've worked with. Lots and lots and different, different types of sickness. Um, so they're just problems. And like I said, we're all family here. Once we get to a certain place with the show, then I'll open up for questions. And hopefully someone's question gets answered and it helps you. and helps um, you get an understanding more of the problem that you may be dealing with or someone that you love, someone you care about. I'll be super stoked to share with that. But before 
we get there, I'll be going over herbs, give you a deeper understanding. In the beginning, we'll go into plants. Uh, the next show is going to give you guys an understanding of natural plant medicines, go into depth, yet very simplistic understanding of how medicinal plants work, what they're for. We'll go into other shows, oils, making them, steps in the process, as well as distillation gas extraction which um, I built equipment for all of that um, at some point as the show grows I will be selling equipment that I've created it's super awesome and we'll be going over spiritual frequencies give you an understanding of not only the physical part of the plants that they're there to help you with whatever um, problems you might have I'll give you an understanding of frequencies from the plants as well as other uh, things colors and stones and stuff like that that you can do uh, yourself you can do with your family your kids it's very safe it's fun and a lot of you will have a very profound experience from creating these frequencies you'll be super stoked so make sure you tune into that show i'll be teaching survival even spiritual medicines will go over craft making all kinds of stuff basket weaving i mean you name it um, lots of different things with craft just from nature alone building shelters and stuff like that survival aromatherapy a deeper understanding of aromatherapy i get asked a lot like the biggest question is what is it for you know it goes beyond perfuming which is my favorite i love perfuming and making colognes and stuff like that but understanding aromatherapy to a deeper degree so i'll be sharing that with you also speaking of which in the show I'll be teaching some really cool farming techniques and grafting and, and things that people have been asking me about. We'll come up with a grafting challenge so that you can, um, if you don't have a place or a yard to do it, you can go out in uh, maybe a park somewhere or just out in the woods, something that's not invasive and plant it so that there's food and fruit for yourself and, and others, other hikers or people out in the city and stuff like that. So that's going to be exciting. And then comes astrology to really go into you and the magic of you and how magical you are and i've got a really awesome special guest for that show super excited for that one um guys my objective for this entire show is to support culture for those of you who've been traveling the world as much as i have for a long time many many years and i'm not talking like the ritz carlton the hilton and staying in lavish places i'm talking like going deep and finding tribes you're seeing the Western way just snuff tribes out left and right by the minute on the daily. And the whole purpose for this show is for me to support tribes. And doing so, my objective is to um, go to these places in these areas and see what tribes may need where sometimes money is not the best thing but there can be resources they have that I can utilize and put together and create products for you and those in need and then bring them things they may need, whether or not it's even just putting money aside for an account in case their lands are threatened to be taken out from underneath them. We can have that to apply to keep them there and keep the tribe still going and in existence because to me, culture is so important. Like I said, the Western way is just snuffing out it's just consumerism rather than culture with music and dance and foods and their clothing and their art and everything like that, um, which is, uh, for those of you, I know there's so many of you that out there that appreciate it, that culture is a beautiful thing. And so the objective with this company, this show, is to support culture. And doing so, it's a win-win situation. My dreams come true. I help others' dreams come true with sponsorships. I help others' dreams come true. We may have health problems, creating products, as well as other things, and we support tribes. So I need your help, guys. Uh, it's not just about me. It's about you. It's about everybody. Um, we're all just one big family, and I want to see this into fruition with something really big, really positive, and really awesome. So, yes, thank you. Yes. As for me, I've had the blessed opportunity to work with over 11,000 plants and over thousands of people here in the islands and around the globe. And I want to give a huge shout out to them and, and say thank you. I'd like to reach out and thank my family for knowledge they've handed down, as well as families around the world who have shared with me.
and blessed me. I'd like to thank my ancestors for their guidance. They've been amazing at teaching me a lot with the natural healing field. Huge thanks to God. God, you've given me the most amazing path. And it's been a, a great path seeing the world and different cultures and tribes and learning from them. I think the biggest thank you goes to my clients here in the islands and around the world. I am me because of you. And I love all you guys giving me a deeper knowledge, a deeper understanding on what's really going on with the human body that I'm excited to share with everybody else. So thank you, everybody. I'm so grateful for coming to me, trusting me, and the positive experiences that you have had, which gave me stepping stones to help more people. So thank you. I love all you guys. You guys are the best. I want to thank my friends. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Friends around the world. There's that few select people that are always there for me. I love you. Thanks so much for being in my life. And thanks for all the fun times. And I want to thank all my friends who love me um, and make no judgments or opinions and uh, accept me for who I am, being that wizard guy that was up on the mountain in a shack for so many years and just treat me and loving me the same as they do everybody else. So I love you guys. You guys are the best. And thanks for um, being you. And um, yeah, I wake up every day hoping I bump into you guys just to say aloha. So um, thanks. Love you guys. All my friends. So also, I want to send love out to the haters. I don't think I have many, but if they're out there, for all of you, if you do deal with haters, you know, as it said, then you're doing something right. My theory is if you do have haters, then hey, man, if it fills up their heart with love and joy, then please, by all means, hate the shit out of me, you know? So big love to them. To me, it's just they've got negativity and they have issues, and it's revealing that there's possible jealousy that they want what you want and what they want what you have what you what you're doing what you're working hard for and all they got to do is do the same thing work hard for it so big love to all the haters out there as well so guys a huge shout out goes out to the hawaiians hawaiians i love you what an amazing culture you are i am such a better person because of you because of the hawaiian way which goes so much deeper than aloha. Uh, thank you for making me a better person, molding me into a much better person, just from hanging out with all you guys. You're absolutely an amazing culture, a powerful culture, a beautiful, highly uh, intelligent culture, a uh, very spiritual culture. Uh, that's why I really attach to uh, the Hawaiians because of uh, what I feel the power, the power of your spirituality that connects with the entirety of the Hawaiian way, the Hawaiian lifestyle, it's just absolutely amazing. There, there's nothing not positive you, you can't say. And the Hawaiians had a way of making life fun. Of course, we've got what we all love here, the sport of kings, surfing. And because of that, so many of us have a wonderful lifestyle because of surfing created by the Hawaiians. So thank you, Hawaiians. Big love to you, obviously, uh, for everything you've ever done, as well as uh, surfing that you gave us. My style of work is, uh, I would say, in a very old Native American style that was handed down to me with working with medicines, but I also have to give credit kind of to a global scale to a lot of the families and cultures out there that I've incorporated into my style of work for helping others. I'm trained in five styles of massage and body work, which is Thai, Swedish, Hawaiian, Burmese, and Indonesian. Other gifts that I use to help people when they come to see me, to help me figure out what I need to do with natural medicines or spiritual work for helping others, I read the eyes, and it's different. You hear iridiology, iridology, however you pronounce it. I read a person, the posture of the eye, how it sits. It tells me a lot. Everything around the eyes, uh, colors, like the coloration, and so much other things, as well as the pupil, um, the iris. I can tell. It gives me insight on if problems are coming in that you've brought in from yourself from a female in your life or a male in your life. 
uh, registrations that show up that you have to decipher are they physical or are they spiritual most registrations that show up in people's eyes that give me an awareness of uh, what I need to do to help others is a lot of times it's just spiritual energy trapped in it and it registers in the eyes so reading the eyes is is also something that the skin tells you so much um, different complexions uh, are they holding their sun meaning their tan if they're out um, in the sun a lot and do they maintain their tan or they disappear really fast certain markings on the skin uh, the hair I can read their hair it tells me a bunch of things as well a person's posture how they sit even it sounds crazy tattooing how it's placed on their body what type of tattoo they're getting a person's walk I can also listen to a person's voice a lot of times and the voice uh, because of things they have pinned up in the spiritual body their voice reflects that um, what may be going on so that with everything else incorporated from being psychic and empathic and reading t into a person as well as what they have to say um, helps me to know where I need to take a person with their health problems to try and bring them back to a peaceful state with themselves. So yes, there's a lot more different things that give you indications on what is going on with the person. And then I go from there and I, I put medicines together or go the route of using uh, different spiritual work that I feel is for them and, and to try and correct and bring them back on path with themselves. So, yes, I used to tour. I have a spiritual gift that I'm still learning and, and trying to grasp and, and uh, grow with. It goes two ways. So, I blow in your, a person's forehead. They basically lay there and their eyes are closed. And when I blow in their forehead, the person will go into visions and see what they need to see to basically release certain emotions and things they're holding on to that can be causing their health problems. As well as I have the gift that I utilize with that to be, I can basically sit 20 feet from you and open up and blast energy through you where majority of people say it feels like they're shoved in a wall socket and um, all this energy going through and their visions and colors and coming out of their body and going through lots of different things that they need to go to release and let go of energy that is causing problems for them because guys you got to know and remember that you don't think from here up in your mind you actually think from your entire body and it's either positive or negative energy that you're allowing through and because it's negativity sometimes it doesn't mean that person's bad it's just energy you know and it's understandable certain situations maybe at some point i'll share different exercises that you can release this energy on your own my job actually for seven years was literally speaking to plants for huge biopharma companies. And let me tell you what that doesn't mean. Hi, Mr. Weed. How are you today? You're my friend. Basically, the best way for me to describe speaking with plants and animals, I've helped a lot of people's pets problems, um, communicating back and forth with them and then putting natural medicines for the pets together when the veterinarians couldn't do anything for it, including my own dogs. My dogs would not be here today if it wasn't for the blessed knowledge that I was given so that I could help my own dogs survive some really tough situations. So when I'm speaking to plants, basically right now, if I just boom, filled you up with love or boom, filled you up with hate. And when you're filled up with love, you want to go hug everybody. When you're filled up with hate, you want to walk around and punch everybody. What happens when I would speak to plants? for my living for a job is go back and forth and if you can picture kind of a, a screen here i would basically be reading the screen like movies we'd go back and forth i'd go back and forth with the plants as well as sometimes get voices from them and feelings and emotions and energy and and just kind of incorporate it all together and then i would basically risk my life and work with this plant and put it inside me or on me not knowing really anything about it um, I would pick up certain things that the plant can do that scientific equipment can't do on breakdown chemical analysis and finding constituents and stuff. I gave more of a thorough definition of the plant's utilization, which was awesome. And from that point, once I figured a plant out, then I would train crews how to harvest sustainably and do sweeps to harvest those plants and supply 
from whatever project we created in a manner that's sustainable so we didn't wipe a plant out so that um, we had to figure if we created farming techniques so that we could consistently supply the demand needed for the project that was created. Pretty awesome job. I got to see the world. The world came to me. It was an awesome, nothing but positive. So it was a, probably the most awesome job in the world. Probably the most rarest. Really cool. And to have that much faith in your gift, which I'm still learning, was, was a lot. So before we break into questions and going out in the field, we'll go over diet. A lot of things that a lot of you don't know about diet. Even some of the best foods can create problems for people. A lot of vegetarians and vegans, they don't understand. Sometimes even the best foods can not be so good for you, depending on each person. So you can have certain energies trapped in your body and certain foods can kind of create harm. So we'll go over that. I'm excited to share that. There's a free diet sheet on my website on islandspicehawaii.com. Look and you'll see an apple with a bunch of lettering in there. Touch that and there's free diet. Obviously, there's a lot more you can do. There's so many amazing people out there that can create amazing natural dishes. I can go in the woods and pick food, um, farming, as well as uh, bow hunt. And then um, I can also you know, go for a quick dive, go spear fishing and put it all into something really special together uh, for something amazing to eat. But uh, there's people that do laps around me with their um, natural culinary skills and um, good on them, it's pretty awesome. We'll give you a deeper understanding of water and the importance of water more than just drinking it. Having it in your life is very crucial for helping you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Water is an amazing substance, an amazing energy. So we'll be going over substances it might be in your daily life just to educate you uh whether it's coffee um cigarettes stress alcohol weed a bunch of different things what it does for you we'll be going over um other such things and what they do to you and just to educate you on that and tobacco and sodas and processed sugars there's you know a majority of people now have woken up that processed sugars are definitely not good for you but why We'll go into that. I'll have a show dedicated just to sugars and what it will do for you and not for you and what it does to you. Pharmaceuticals and so on and so on and so on. I um, look forward to sharing that with you and just educating you. I'm not trying to persuade anyone not to or to do it. It's going to educate. So it's going to be super cool. Um, my gifts of being psychic and empathic, I basically paid my way through life as a psychic. I'm also empathic. So understanding psychic, what that means is a lot of us have psychic ability. A lot of us don't even know. If you're having dreams at night and then it comes true later down the road, that is also known as deja vu, but that just shows your intuition ability, your psychic ability. It's something we all have. Others definitely have greater abilities than others, just like in everything. With basketball, we've got Michael Jordan. Surfing, we've got the Kelly Slaters. Tiger Woods of Golf, a lot of you have really amazing intuitive abilities. And there's also what you call being empathic. So I'm empathic. So psychic basically is to see. And I utilize my gift. I have two things I can do. I can actually see someone's future to set them at ease at what may be coming, as well as I utilize it to help a person to give me a deeper understanding when they come to me of what I can put together naturally with natural medicines to help them out. I'm also empathic and empathic is different. Empathic means to feel. So I basically go inside someone's body and feel all their energy that's there that they've acclimated to and kind of don't even realize it's there. It's something I really don't recommend. It's not the funnest thing to feel other people's energy. It's like pressure and getting crushed by something you can't see. I don't recommend it, but um, it goes with the territory and it gives me a deeper understanding of what's going on with people way more than diet. There's a lot more going on too because we don't think from here. We don't think from our mind and our head. We actually think from our whole body and it's either positive or negative and because someone has negativity doesn't mean they're bad. It's just energy. So at some point I might share with you certain exercises to release all that because healing is continual. It's not just when you're sick. It's just ever, 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 ever changing, ever going. Healing is something that 
it's consistent for all of us. No one's no one's exempt from it. No one's excused from it. To be honest, we'll probably do a show on being empathic because I really think that a lot of people's health problems are caused from being empathic and they just don't know this. Basically, being empathic, you're sponging on other people's energy and it's obviously not positive energy, it's negative energies and it can cause your body to go certain directions that are uncomfortable from allergies um, to stomach problems to digestive disorders to locking up your bowel and being constipated. It can just go on and on and on with problems that it creates. I've also done what's known as psychometry. Psychometry is, if you're not aware, it's certain people have a gift to hold an object or to be near object like ruins, like let's say the Egyptian pyramids, and go into visions and basically see how it was built, what its purpose is, and read into it. I've had some amazing experiences. I've been invited to island nations and other places that there's these ruins there, and they don't know what they're for, how they got there. And I've got the most craziest, amazing stories where I go to a ruin of a structure that they have no idea about its history. They have a little bit of lore that's been passed down. And then I go up and go into visions and see what it was built for and stages it may have gone through to where it came to life when it was built died out, was rediscovered again over hundreds of years, and then utilized for something totally different, and then died again, and then um, used again and gone through cycles of, of life and death of these ruins and given them, these island nations and other countries, what happened. And a lot of what I saw matched the lore that was handed down and stuff that was given to them, but they weren't sure, plus a lot more that they weren't aware of. So really cool. If any of you out there want to hire me and bring me on board for something of such, for going and, and trying to find and discover ruins, I'm game on. It's something I really love. It's a definite passion of mine. Just like artifacts, I love artifacts. So um, please um, don't hesitate. So you can find me on my website, islandspicehawaii.com. And uh, like I said, I'm ready when you are. Um, more about me. I do photography, film. Wood carving since I was probably seven years old. Paint, draw, sculpture. I went to school for fashion design. And um, I love traveling the world and seeing God's magical creations, as well as uh, surfing, spearfishing, snowboarding, and bow hunting. And uh, it's all in my blood. I love it. Can't get enough of it. it is. And so, um, on to other things. Back to the show. Surfers, listen up. While everyone else is at their 9 to 5 ham and egg or job chasing that almighty dollar just to get more and more things, materialism, what are we doing? Yes, we are chasing barrels. Be sure and let everyone know that you know who loves surfing, travels the world. This shows for them. You will learn different plants that could be for you. You might be out in the middle of nowhere and on some hardcore surf trip and there's a plant you need for whatever problems, uh, Bali Belly, Montezuma's Revenge, you might be bleeding, or get cut and wounded out in the middle of nowhere, reef cuts, just whatever sickness might come your way. Lots of things can happen, and I'll be showing plants that not only grow here, but grow elsewhere, as hopefully this show goes beyond, and I'm out traveling and showing different plants that you can use when you're on these surf trips. Spear fishers as well. Watch the show. Um, you can learn lots of different things that might be good if you're out on a, a super deep island spearfishing trip somewhere and something happens. Bow hunters, I love you. You may uh, experience as well some things that are needed when you're out in the field and some techniques of different plants to use for survival, for nutrition that's there, as well as um, masking scent. There's a lot of different things I'd be happy to share with you and all you uh, snowboarders. Hopefully I can share things with you. Uh, yes, if this show, I'm speaking out to the Hawaiians and the people of Hawaii, if this show goes in another direction than what I'm thinking and expecting, um, hopefully something really positive, I promise no matter what that I will either put books together or come back and keep doing videos to show you and give back to you, to show my thanks and love what is here for everybody from the plants to the trees to utilize to help you yourself and your family and your
your loved ones. Super stoked to share. As the show grows, please know I'll be looking to sponsor boat surfers. I'll be looking to sponsor snowboarders, skateboarders. We'll just see where it all goes. And uh, I, at the same time, I am looking for sales reps for not only my logo wear line, but my herbal product line, as well as independent distributors. So you can contact me through my website, islandspicehawaii.com, and we can go from there and hopefully spread the magic. Special thanks goes out to my sponsors. Guys, I love you. Thanks for having faith in me. Thanks for believing in me. I'm super grateful for everything that you've sent my way. Super cool. And um, without having anything to show for anything. And so here we go, guys. I hope I make you proud and we grow together and make this good. And so I am looking for more sponsors, by the way, whether your health products in the surf industry, snowboarding industry, bow hunting, as well as spearfishing. I haven't got any spearfishing sponsors yet, but I haven't really reached out. So hopefully someone else out there sees the show and is stoked on it and will bless me with, with uh, sponsorship in the beginning, product sponsorship. Let's see where it goes. You know, guys, and who knows where the show's going to go. I might do live psychic readings. I still get chicken skin. I'm seeing people get chicken skin. It's not me. It's my guides or your guides that are giving me the answers. Um, I may do live readings for the show. I could even do once a month for all the astrology signs out there, do a reading per sign to kind of give you guys a heads up on uh, what might be coming your way for the month. And that would be super fun. So we'll see where it goes, guys. Hey, guys, remember, I'm not a doctor, and I'm definitely not here to replace your one-on-one -on -one relationship with your qualified medical physician. I'm a traditional herbalist, healer, psychic. I never claim any cures, never have, never will, but for some reason I've seen to have helped a lot of people and I'll never take credit. God made all the plant medicines, any type of work that comes through me and others in the field, it comes from God. And so, yeah, I don't take credit for any of it. So, you know, and a lot of people in this field, the natural healing will put the medical field down, the doctors down. And there's some, you know, definite subjects and topics within that that are questionable but to be honest huge shout out and big love to all uh the doctors out there who come from heart and have the gift of putting people back together they put people back together in my family some dear friends of mine and families that i know and good on you i love you guys you're amazing it's something i'll never do never be able to do it's definitely highly trained skill art yeah it, it's an amazing skill that you know you have so big love to you guys thank you for your work and, and what you do to help others as well as all you nurses out there love you thank you i could personally not myself be in a hospital environment but a lot of you work long hours with the passion to help others and to be there for others in, in need so thank you out there to all the nurses you guys are amazing lots of love to you and um, keep doing it keep it up and hopefully one day hospitals will incorporate natural means to help others as well as uh, what the medical practices are already doing, incorporate them as well. And I do have huge ideas for a natural hospital if anyone out there is listening and wants to hit me up, do something of the such, um, I would be super stoked to be a part of that design work to creating a natural hospital. Be sure to like subscribe and share my video and follow be sure to follow you can catch me on everything that's island spice hawaii my instagram account my facebook my youtube i'll post on instagram that uh new shows are happening with new topics and new special guests and everything that i'm looking to reach out and share with you guys so be sure to like subscribe subscribe and follow and be sure and just share with everyone, anyone who is fascinated with natural healing, herbal medicines, topics of spirituality, people that you know that might need help with health problems. I can't wait to share and um, hopefully rub off on people and make things better for them. For those of you who might be interested in a session with me, whether it is for a psychic reading to see maybe what's coming for you, it's always positive. I, I try not to be negative. A lot of people get intimidated about psychic readings. and I only use for good. I don't sit there and say, oh, somebody's dying and all this stuff. I really try and keep it in a very positive light. Um, at the same time, it's not me. It's what comes through that spirit needs and wants you to hear. So 
would love to share that with you. As well as if you're dealing with health problems and you're not sure about the products, I can do custom things, kind of listen to what you have to say, pick up on what I pick up on, and create custom to help you with whatever problem you may be dealing with. So I'd be super stoked to help you out. Be sure and, and check that out. And you can get in contact through me um, for those with my website. And be sure and check my products out on my website, islandspicehawaii.com. But um, I think it's super cool that a lot of people support YouTubers by just donating. So you're more than welcome to go and donate to my show. I'll leave a link for that. But to be honest, I'd rather you donate to yourself. I've got amazing herbal products. You can get on my website, islandspicehawaii.com. Please know that all the products came because of my clients' positive feedback for over 20 years. That's why they became products thanks to wonderful positive results from clients who've given me great feedback and had a great experience with products and that's what made them products. So these products basically created themselves. I look forward to sharing with you. I also have a logo wear line that I'd be super stoked to share. Be sure and check out my website, islandspicehawaii.com. Um, and be sure and check out the herbal product line. I've got herbal detoxes. We'll go over that. We'll do a show about detoxing to get a deeper understanding of why you detox. Your objective is to raise your vibration. I see a lot of stuff on the market and a lot of stuff on the market is what I call surface cleanses rather than going deep and really helping you release emotions, stuff that's hampering you. You gotta look at it like your car. Imagine your car and you've never changed your oil, your filters, your plugs, your wires, all the above, distributor cap, rotor, everything like that. Detoxing is it's part of life. Your objective is raising vibration as well as everything else in life is raising your vibration. I've got I'm gonna leave you guys with um, a shout out to all my sponsors once again all my sponsors I love you guys thank you so much and uh, be sure to hang in there guys because after my shout out to the sponsors I've got an amazing epic song by Maui's on John Kenny Maka so thanks for watching I'm excited to share with you excited for the upcoming shows lots of love to you you guys are the best and be sure and, and let people know especially people surfers snowboarders, spearfishing, bow hunting, and anyone and everyone fascinated by the natural healing arts, this show is for you, this show is for them, and um, there'll be a lot of stuff that is not in the books. Um, I am not book read on all of this. All of this is handed down as well as firsthand experience on uh, knowledge I gained from working with over 11,000 plants and thousands of people. Thanks again, I'm Spice, your host for Talk Story with Spice, and I love you. Have a magic day. Okay. Aloha. Thanks. I'd like to give thanks and a huge shout out to Aribe Tea Company. Aribe Tea is an amazing all-natural tea company that uses organic and locally sourced ingredients from right here in the Hawaiian Islands. Both brewed and bottled in Hilo, Hawaii of the Big Island with lots of flavors to choose from, Aribe Tea can be found at Island Naturals, Down to Earth, Safeway, KTA, and Times Supermarket, as well as all 7-Eleven stores. Enjoy an Aribe tea today. A huge mahalo goes out to Hawaiian Ola for their awesome noni juice shots. Noni fruit is the most widely known natural healing medicine throughout Polynesia. Used as a traditional medicine by Hawaiians for thousands of years, noni is recognized for its many numerous health-giving properties. These organic noni juice shots by Hawaiian Ola are farmed and bottled on the Big Island of Hawaii and can be found in over 400 locations in the islands as well as HawaiianOla.com. And a special thanks to Alamir for their pure grade high quality handmade incense. Hands down, Alamir makes the absolute best incense available. Pure, clean, and balanced with infinite, heavenly, divine, exotic, and pleasantly beautiful scents and aromas to choose from. Be sure to check out their amazing all-natural hygiene products as well. Incense by Alamir is available at a health store near you or available online at Alamir.com. As for my surf sponsors, Mahalo to Dekine for their awesome surf products, a trusted, loved, and recognized brand that originated right here in the Hawaiian Islands on the island of Maui in 1979. Dekine products are available at your local surf shop or their website, dekine.com.
A definite thank you goes to Ross and Surfboards. Shaper Pat Rawson has been shaping surfboards since 1966, which includes shaping boards on surfing's most respected proving grounds, the North Shore of Oahu, since 1972. One of the most well-recognized Rawson surfboard moments is that iconic Tommy Carroll snap at the North Shore's infamous Bonsai Pipeline. Check out Rawson surfboards at a surf shop near you, or go to patrawsonsurfboards.com. And for my bow hunting sponsors, I'd like to thank ASAT Camouflage. ASAT stands for All Season, All Terrain. Be the tree or become the bush with ASAT's patented camo pattern that blends you into nature and masks you from the eyes of the game you're seeking to put on your dinner plate. Hands down, ASAT is the best functioning high quality camouflage in the business. Get out in the field with your ASAT camo and see for yourself. Check them out at ASATCamo.com. A big thank you to Cash Took Bowcraft for your handmade arrows. Cash Took Bowcraft makes not only handmade wooden arrows and bone broadheads, but also makes handcrafted self and long bows, bone knives, fire starters, muzzle loaders, and more. If you're a traditional bow hunter, wooden arrows is the only way to fly. Be sure to check out CashTookBowcraft.com. And now I'd like to reach out and thank my snowboarding sponsors, starting with D-Curve. Guys, D-Curve is a cutting-edge eyewear and lifestyle company pushing you to explore your boundaries and defy your limits. D-Curve uses the same patented technology that NASA uses in space to protect eyes from radiation that blocks out 100% UV rays and harmful blue light. D-Curve helmets, goggles, sunglasses, and more can be found at dcurve.com. Check them out. You'll be super stoked you did.